Okay, YouTube, this is JL Chambers82, and uh, back already with another game view. Uh, still have the, uh, my uh, Panasonic FC1 plugged in. Uh, 3D logo should be coming up any moment, and there it is, right on cue. So, anyway, the game I'm, I'm uh, gonna show you guys uh, is a game that's shit on a lot and considered one of the worst fighters of all time, one of the worst games of all time, one of the worst 3D games of all time. And uh, is the game good? No. But. Um, you know what, we're going to look at it because this game uh, had a lot of potential, had a lot of uh, promise, and was a very ambitious game. And uh, it's Way of the Warrior, in case you haven't noticed. Um, I remember when this game came out, I don't care what anyone says, like they say it was an instant flop, whatever, it's easy to say those things in hindsight. Uh, Back in the day, Electronic Game Monthly, uh, Die Hard Game Fan, Game Pro, everyone looked at this game and just like thought this was the future. This there was nothing like it in the arcades. This blew away Mortal Kombat One and Two as far as graphics and uh, design. There wasn't anything as pow powerful enough to handle this. And uh, yeah, I mean, it. Everyone was so excited about this game. I pre-bought it, you know, put money down, and I was totally ready to get it. And um, you know, I was really excited about getting this game at home. I thought this was going to be the ultimate, ultimate arcade experience at home. And people are like, oh, I've heard, the, I've heard all the criticism about the games. Like, oh, the, the names are stupid. Yeah, they are, but so is fucking Kano and Sonya, right, from Mortal Kombat. Oh, the costumes are stupid. Sonya wore fucking spandex, you know? So, this game had the zooms and everything of, like, SNK games. Uh, fluid, fluid animation. Uh, for the time, considering it was, you know, uh, you know, live actors. This was cutting edge, man. There was nothing like it. What kills this game is not the soundtrack. The soundtrack's a fucking white zombie. It's badass, right? Uh, it's not the graphics. The graphics were top-notch, you know, at the time. There was nothing in the arcades or at home. You know, this really pushed the envelope of what a 3D could do. Here's what killed the game. Controls. They're terrible. It's like very, very unresponsive. It's almost impossible to execute moves. That's what killed the game. That's what all the, that's what all the uh, critics said. It wasn't anything to do with the costumes or the soundtrack or the graphics, because everyone, if you remember, this was this was the best of the best, like as far as graphics and everything go. Everyone said this was a beautiful game to look at, and they wished it would have done well. Anyone that says oh, this game was just crap in the beginning and there was better games out there, show them to me. What was it, Rise of the Robots? Are you kidding me? There wasn't anything like it, and uh, it was a very ambitious game, and Naughty Dog was the publisher, they got, they brought us Crash Bandicoot later, you know, so, you know, these little stepping stones, you know, came up with really, really great games and great ideas and just great, you know, design teams, and so, this is not a, you know, by any way an inferior uh, concept for a game or uh, design, it was very, very much so uh, cutting edge and just, even still, like, when I look at it now, I'm like, yeah, I mean, in comparison to, like, what, what were the competitions? Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo? They couldn't have done anything like this. Nothing. There was nothing in arcade like it. So, yeah, it's a terrible game. And it's a terrible game because the controls and, and the developers, you know, kind of rushed it out to showcase the 3DO and sell more units. Everyone really thought this was going to be the, 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 the system seller. And it came out and it got bad reviews because of the controls. So, that's it, guys. In a nutshell, like, this game could have done better. Uh, had the controls been spot on, we might have seen sequels to this game. And this game was in the arcades. They released it with 3D hardware and everything. Like So, uh, this was not a complete failure. And uh, very ambitious, like I said, groundbreaking. One of the first games to feature a uh, live, you know, a real band with for the sound, the soundtrack, a real CD. So, anyway, YouTube just had to show this off. And, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a bad game, but... If you're a collector, pick it up, and if not, uh, play it at least once and, and, and give it a shot. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. It was a necessary step, and uh, it's 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 not a total failure. It was a necessary, necessary failure, if you want to look at it that way. So, anyway, YouTube, later.